my dear students happy morning to all of you thank you last few classes we have seen the principles of projection of orthographic projection i have also explained to you about the four quadrant principle where the projections are taught with regard to the points when a point the problem is given in a point how to locate the top view front view side view it could be right side view or left side view in all the four quadrants we have explained to you then we came to the projection of straight line when we started the projection of straight line topic it was purely in the first quadrant everything discussed in the first quadrant when the line lies in the first quadrant how to draw its top view and front view we have discussed now how to find the true length and true angle when the plan elevation is given how to find the true incline true length and true inclinations when the true inclination is given how to find the top view front view all this we have discussed in the previous chapter there is a projection of straight line also the various angles we have known the standard angles inclination to hp is theta inclination to vp is phi then apparent angle to hp is alpha apparent angle to vp is beta so theta phi beta and alpha apparent angles to everything is discussed in the previous topic today i am going to give you instruction in new topic that is projection of plane surfaces projection of plane surfaces or it is also called as lamina just giving you an example i have a pentagonal lamina in my hand i have a pentagonal lamina in my hand just made the naming as corners as a b c d e a is a corner b is a corner a b is a side a b is a side is also called as edge so let it we have five corners a b c d e are corners a b b c c d they are all edges edge means side both are same so a lamina has got this particular lamina has got five edges and five corners example if i take hexagon the hexagon has got five six corners and six edges six corners six edges similarly we have different types of laminae let us study let us try to find out what we are going to study in this topic very simple just yes. i have i just keep keep my hand as a horizontal plane the background is a vertical plane you can observe my finger you can just see that is the front view projected on vp that is the top view projected on hp if you keep a lamina in this manner on hp you will all agree with me you will all agree with me that the plane surface is parallel to vp per foot hp the front view when you project on vp you get a regular pentagon on vp when you project on hp the top view will be a line line parallel to xy line to keep a lamina in this manner inclined and their surface is inclined to vp top view will be inclined line but the front view will be a smaller pentagon it is a regular pentagon when you project because of the inclination it will appear a smaller in size one more example if i keep a lamina in this manner lamina is lying already on hp on hp top view will be a regular pentagon the front view will be a line the line falls on xy line if i keep the lamina above hp in this manner the lamina horizontal line will be above xy line one more position if i keep a lamina in this manner the surface is inclined to hp front view will be inclined line on vp top will be again now a smaller pentagon a regular pentagon it is standing on the side if i keep the lamina turn in this manner the standing side is already perpendicular to vp i make the standing side inclined to vp you find a lamina is inclined to both hp vp front view top view both will appear a smaller in size this is what we are going to study when the lamina lies in the first quadrant in different different position how does it appear in the front view a smaller size smaller shape how does it appear in the top view a smaller size that's what we are going to study under projection of lamina in fact the lamina could be defined in different ways different ways one simple definition can be it is a plane surface bounded by straight lines and curves and having no separate thickness 
our tensor line is still thickness for a representing a laminar or plane surface. And just give take an example of a pentagon. We have different shapes like we have hexagon, we have a circle, we have a triangle, square, all different shapes of laminate. When they lay in the first quadrant in different different positions, how does it appear in the front view? How does it appear in the top view? That's what we are going to study. Right now as shown here a pentagonal lamina having corners A, B, C, D, E, A. A is a corner, B is a corner, C is a corner, whereas A, B is a side, B is a side, D, C, D is a side. As shown the symbol as sides or edges and the corners as shown here, this is corners. I have noticed students confusing themselves between the words sides and edges. Side and edge both meaning same. Corner is different, please keep it in mind. The problems are solved in lamina by known by what is called as change of position method. There are different methods to solve the problems, but what we are doing as per the syllabus, change of position method. Now, there's a small hint I'm going to give you how to solve the problems on lamina. The first step, surface or plane or lamina, all the three words being same, inclination to you should do it as the first step but a side or edge inclination you should do it as second step i repeat surface or plane or lamina all the three words meaning same its inclination should be done in the first step side or edge should be done in the second step that's why we follow the change of position method the problem is how to start the where to start the figure given figure whether a pentagon a hexagon a triangle where to start whether to draw the figure in the VP, draw the figure in the HP. One more hint. Surface inclined HP, in the problem it says surface inclined HP, you draw the given lamina in the HP first. If the problem says surface inclined to VP, you draw the given lamina in the VP first. If you can remember this rule, you can solve 90% of the problems in lamina except one or two special cases. So please keep in mind, read the problem thoroughly, and see that you make surface inclination the first step, side inclination the second step. When the surface inclined HP, start the figure in the HP. Surface inclined VP, start the figure in the VP. You will never go wrong in solving the problems. That's the follow. This is the step you have to follow in solving the problems by change of position method with regard to lamina on the plane surfaces.